happening today. It is 6.30 this morning. Vice President Kamala Harris is on her way to southern Arizona, and we're live in Douglas, where she will be visiting the border. That's where we find our Blake Phillips live there for us. Again, good morning with you, Blake, to check back in. So we've been having the discussion, recent poll numbers, showing that Harris's uh, rates are dipping, especially when it comes to immigration. That's how voters feel. So how much time should we expect her to be laying out this approach and tackling this kind of policy? Well, the itinerary that we've gotten from the Harris uh, campaign is not totally solid and firm in terms of what time she's speaking and what exactly she's doing. But like you just mentioned, those poll numbers, uh, she's been lacking behind and lately some statewide poll numbers for Arizona as a battleground state has been showing former President Trump pulling ahead. But this is a big deal. You know, Vice President Harris hasn't visited the border since 2021. And this topic has been something that former President Trump has used in a lot of his ads, a lot of his stops around the country. We've heard it here when he was uh, here just a few weeks ago in Tucson. We heard it when he made a border visit uh, towards the end of August. So now we know she's making a border visit. They're going to actually come down here and she's what we do know is she's going to be meeting some Border Patrol agents and then giving a speech at the Cochise College campus. But once we found out that Vice President Harris was making this visit, I wanted to reach out to some Democrats who would be here today. One of those being Dr. Sylvia Lee, who's a board of supervisor in Pima County. And she says that she thinks that Vice President Harris will be best fit to handle legal immigration for those that are here legally, have gone through the system, and are asylum seekers, and they want to work. That's what they want to do. They don't want to hurt people. They want to work for their families and to become an American. Now, I jumped it a little bit there, but what we do know so far today is that Vice President Harris will be landing at Tucson International Airport a little later, a little earlier this afternoon, around 1 o'clock is what we've been told, then heading down here to Douglas. And like I said, she's going to be meeting with Border Patrol agents and then heading over to the Cochise College campus here in Douglas to give a policy speech. That's what the Harris campaign tells me uh, is what they're going to be doing. It's a private event, invite only for supporters inside uh, the college there. But what we're probably going to hear, some topics that she's used before when it comes to former President Trump's record on immigration, as well as potentially rolling out some new policy ideas. She is rolling out a new campaign ad today focusing on immigration. You'll probably see that. But let's take a step back when it comes to Arizona as a whole. We've seen the importance. We've talked about it. Immigration has been a very hot topic that Americans across the country have said in polls is something that matters to them. We've seen Senator Vance here at the early the beginning of August, rather. And we've seen a second gentleman, Doug Emhoff, here just in the matter of the last two weeks when former President Trump was in Tucson. Arizona is a very key state in this election, to put it plain and simple. Both parties want to win it. So Harris making a trip down here today probably signifies the importance that they're seeing. You know, the numbers may be falling behind, but they want to take advantage of that, guys. All right, Blake, thank you.